In this video, we're going to talk about traversing the Dom. And when you first hear that term, you might be like, what on earth does that mean? But it's actually quite simple, and I'll explain it in this video. Now, up to now, we've been targeting elements using the get element by ID, get elements by tag, and get elements by class methods. And so really all you're doing when you're traversing the DOM, it's just a different way to target an element. That's all it is. It's just a different way. And what we're using is the parent-child relationship to target an element. And so for instance, you know, before we would have used a get element by ID maybe to target this individual paragraph, but now what we're gonna do is use the parent-child relationship itself within the document object model to target one of these paragraph elements. And so what does that mean? Well, we're first gonna target the div, and once we have the div, which is the parent, then we can use that parent-child relationship to target the child. And we'll actually use a property this time to target one of the elements. Elements. And so that's the movement. We're moving from parent to child, from parent to child. We're moving downwards. Now you can actually flip this, and we'll do this in the next video. You can actually go from child to parent, so you can go upwards, and you can even go sideways. You can go from sibling to sibling to sibling. So that's what traversing the DOM means. That's all it means. We're just using the parent-child relationship within the DOM hierarchy to move around to target an element. We're moving from the parent and then once we get the parent, we can actually target the child. And so actually we are gonna use get element by ID to target the div first, and then once we have the parent, we can again move downwards and target one of the children. So that's what traversing the DOM means again. Okay, so let's flip over to the code. And you'll see here I've edited the code from the last video a little bit. I've just changed the function to change text and changed a little bit of the verbiage here. And we've got four paragraph elements inside of our div. So first we're gonna target the div and then we're gonna target one of these paragraph elements. So let's go over here and we'll start filling in the code in our JavaScript function. So the first thing, as I said, we wanna get a hold of our parent. That's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna use the get element by ID again. Of course, we're grabbing the ID of main. So now we've got the parent. But again, we're not actually gonna manipulate this element now. We just wanna get a hold of it so now we can target the children. So now I'll copy and paste the next line into here. So now we create a variable to hold the child. And we can just use our parent object now and go ahead and select the child that we want. And again, notice we're not using the get element by ID down here. We're using a property. And the name of this property is child nodes. Now this builds a node list of all the nodes under our parent. And so again, we can target whatever child we want. Now let's pull up the web page here really quickly. I wanna just show you something very important. And let's go ahead and just minimize this and we'll flip back to the JavaScript code. Whoops, bring that back up here. Now, what I wanna point out is we've got four paragraph elements here and we put the position of the node in here. So you might think, well, this first paragraph would start with zero and you would be correct, except remember a few videos ago, I said that there are many different nodes in the document object model. Now we only really need to be concerned with the big three, I like to call them the attribute node, the text node, and the element node. But there are other nodes and you just need to be aware that this says child nodes. That means every single node in there. There is actually a node for white space. So this white space here is treated as a node in the document object model. There's also a white space node right here. There's a white space node right here. So the zero position would actually start out with the white space node. This would be in the one position, and then this white space node right here would be two, and this second paragraph would be in the third position. So that's the one we're gonna target. So just be aware of that. This says child nodes, it doesn't say element nodes. So this will encompass all the nodes. So let's put a three in here. Okay, so that's good. And then we're just gonna go ahead and do a little bit of styling here. That's not the point of this lecture. We're just talking about how to use these child properties, but we'll go ahead and use our child object and we'll just change the color to blue. So let's save everything up here and then let's run our web page. And now everything should work and this second paragraph should flip to blue. And it did. Okay, good. So let's close this out. Now let's go ahead and I'm gonna put a comment in down here to save this line of code because we're actually gonna talk about another property now. So let's, whoops, put that, needed different slashes there. There we go. 
So we'll save this, and as usual, I'll put this code into the information section of this video. So now there's another property that we can use, and I'll just copy and paste it right over here because we're going to reuse our parent object again. And it's first element child. Now notice this says element. So that means we don't have to worry about those nasty little white space nodes. This will just give us the first paragraph element. And this is kind of useful because let's say that's all we want to target. We just want to get that first child element. So we don't have to worry about position or anything. It will just go right to that first paragraph and change the text. So let's go ahead and save this. And we'll go over here and run everything. And there you see, it changed the first element. Good. Now, you might have surmised that we can also flip this to last. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll run this. And there you can see it changed the last element it found. So that's a good start. So in the next video, we're actually going to switch the order. Like I said, we're going to start with a child and target that with a get element by ID. And then we're going to move upwards and we'll actually have the parent here. So again, we'll switch the order in the next video. See you guys then.